Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Sunday and I am going to make a video for a couple of different reasons. One, I want to announce the winner of Colleen Rothschild's beauty bundle, the anti-aging beauty bundle that she was nice enough to give me. <laughs> and um, so, but the thing is, right now it is 11.42 a.m. on Sunday and we are actually headed out of town for a couple of days to do some back to school shopping and just go get out of town for a little bit and go out to eat in some different places. And so what I'm gonna do is make this video and I don't wanna pick the winner yet because you have until seven o'clock tonight and then I'm gonna get Brooke and Will to help me pick who the winner is and I will put the name down in the description. So look down there, just I think you click on more info and I will put the winner down there and I will mail out your beauty bundle next week, probably Tuesday is when I'll be back. So Tuesday or Wednesday. And um, so, and then I wanted to, what I did is I didn't, I read every single comment on that video, still am, and I, it killed me not to answer the questions but I didn't know if we were just gonna pick a random number. Anyway, I just decided I wasn't gonna answer any of the comments. I was just gonna let them go. And um, I would just answer some of the questions here on this video. And I'm trying to think of, there was one question I got, oh, okay. One question was, the what toner did she use on my hair? I have no idea the things that she uses on my hair. And I kind of hesitate to, tell you different things like that only because our hair is so different and I don't want to tell you something that's not going to work on your hair or you know we have different textures and everything else it's not that I don't want to tell you it's just I didn't even think about asking and then when I thought about it last night I thought gosh you know the best thing to do is take a picture in of what you want and then they know what they've been using on your hair I mean, it might be to the point where you can't get highlights, and I have been at that point. So, that is that. All she did was do the highlights, and I like the color so much better. It's just a crisper. It was just getting so yellowy and orangey. So, that is one question. Another question is, um, you wanted to see my hair the whole way around. So, I will, you know, turn around when I do my outfit of the day so you can see the back of it. It's pretty plain, which is what I like. It's just all one length. And then another thing is you wanted me to do a hair tutorial from beginning to end. And I will do that eventually. It's just that I'm still learning how to deal with this hair just because it's so different. And last night, so when you saw it Friday, all I had used the night before was the, was it Carol's Daughter? Carol's Daughter Manoy Oil. And that's all I had used. So that gives you a real straight, soft, kind of fluffy texture. So last night I decided to do something a little different. I used some of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day. And that's another question I get. When I mentioned the Perfect Hair Day, it's by Living Proof and it is a styling cream. So I used a little bit of that last night and then I put um, the Orbe Royal Blowout. Just sprayed it on the ends and then I round brush it dry and then I ran a flat iron through it just minimally. I really didn't have to because it blew out so pretty and straight, but there's just a few pieces like these that um, want to stay kind of frizzy. And so when I woke up this morning, it was pretty just straight and like it usually is. And what I did to, okay, back up a little bit, what the Perfect Hair Day does that not using it, <laughs> what it allows you to do is get like, see how it's a little bit more separated looking? and it allows you to be able to spray it. This morning I sprayed a little bit of the AG High and Dry in it and that gave it, you know, just more body and more, you can see it's got more um, texture to it, which sometimes I like that, sometimes I don't. Now that I've cut off all of those little scraggly ends, I don't mind it as much. And what I did this morning is just run a little bit of, I think I, I just pick up the first one I see usually, I put a little bit of the Bumble and Bumble finishing oil and just kind of ran it through my ends so that they would be not too fluffy looking and not too spiky, just, just right. So that is what I use today. So that gives you kind of a different look. It's more of a choppier type look. And I think, 
I don't know. I don't know which one I prefer. With my outfit of the day today, I kind of wanted to go a little edgier. So, and my makeup is inspired by, as usual, Sherry Curry. I watched one of her videos this morning, and this is something you should do just for fun. If you have a webcam on your computer, before you leave or after you've done your makeup, every once in a while, look at yourself on camera because it looks totally different. Now that I'm looking at myself on camera, I probably would have angled my eyeliner up a little bit more and I would have done a little bit darker right here to pull it up. But you really don't see that as someone else would see it until you look in the camera. But to be honest, I don't want to put anything else on right now. I've got so much. This is like a lot of eyeshadow for me. I used my Trish McAvoy eyeshadows this morning. So, I think that is it. And then the Ben Chibi swimwear giveaway. I appreciate all of you entering both contests and all of your sweet comments. I really appreciate it. And they are going to announce their winner on Instagram. So, that will be that. And let me see. Is there any other announcements? Um, I think that's it. Okay, so one of the main things I wanted to share with you is the shoes that I bought that Becca that works at Oliver, she wears these all the time. And she said one of her friends just ordered a pair too. And they've actually got them in nude if some of you want a cool pair of nude shoes. And I got them Friday afternoon. I got them after the video, so I couldn't put them in there. But they are Steve Madden. And I ordered mine from Zappos. And I got them, of course, the next day. And the name of them um, is Nonstop, I guess is what that's going to be short for black leather and they're true to size they had like i think 24 reviews and they were all good so i figured they were and, and with her advice and i see her wear them all the time so okay, so here they are and they are a three inch heel and the, it, it's wooden and it's very kind of like a raw wooden heel and they reminded me of the ones that I wear all the time. I haven't worn them in a long time, but the Bell by Sigerson Morrison that I have that are black with the wooden heel that I love so much. Uh, open toe, but it's kind of like a, a, I wore them the other night. So you, can you see my toe prints? Maybe a little bit. But just kind of like, you know, where it just shows the very ends of your toes and then comes up high on the foot, kind of like, almost like a booty, but not. And then has the little thing like that. And these are actually snaps and then you snap them on. Okay, what I will say is they are tight right here. Like when you snap them on, you'll see them on my feet. But what I noticed about Becca's is they start, as she's worn them, they start getting more of a little wrinkly look right here and they're not as tight around your ankle. So had I not known that, I probably, I don't know if I would've sent them back or if I would've chanced it because the leather's gonna stretch and it's just a one ply piece of leather. It's real soft. So don't let that discourage you. If you try them on and that's kind of tight, I have seen where it does, you know, kind of scrunch up like that and it makes them look even better. So I am going to wear these today. I figured they were good shoes to travel and if we go out to eat or stop at, I think we might stop at a new Tanger Outlet Mall. I figured they would be good and comfortable and I always, no matter what, no matter where I go, take my black Javianas because I know I can slip those on and it'll go with most everything. So I'm going to put these on and I'll be right back with my outfit of the day. Okay, and as I'm putting these on, I don't want to forget to tell you this, they do have this part. So even though they're tight, they do have that give. So that helps too. So okay, today right. I have on that <laughs> tank that I showed you the other day that is uh, Feel the Peace and I just think it's a really cool fun tank and I'm going to turn around so you can see the back of the shirt and the back of my hair. So here's the side and so you can see it's not, I didn't really want the, um, the inverted bob, it's just plain in the back and I love it and it seems to be kicking out a little bit more. I think when you Put the perfect hair day it makes it do that a little bit more than if you just do the oil it makes it curl kind of under and um the jeans i have on today are some that i got a long time ago they are just the citizens of humanity avidon cropped cropped and then here yeah. are the shoes and so you can see 
how far up they go on the legs. So they're kind of almost like a booty. And see, they're kind of just tight right there, but that part's just going to eventually kind of squish down like that. <laughs> okay, so for accessories, I have on these. I love these little earrings, and I figure when I go out of town, I try to, like, just take one pair of earrings or something, and these are just something different than the hoops. They're the wavy ovals, and that's another thing. When I do my hair like this, I notice that my ears were showing more. And um, so I just grabbed this little Lealena leather bracelet, my Nora Kogan lip bracelet. And I haven't even really picked what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Probably just take some jeans and a t-shirt or something like that. I wanted to go ahead and get this done before I did everything else. We've got to take Bridget to my mom's and all the other stuff. Okay. Um, on my wanna... nails, I just copped out last night and put a neutral on. This is the, oh gosh, Orly. It's the one that um, was limited edition and then I think they came out with it again. I will put it down in what I'm wearing. I can't remember what it's called right now. And I think that is it. I think that's it. Yep. Okay, so I hope you guys have a wonderful next couple of days. I will see you probably Wednesday or so. And um, with this video, don't forget, I'm announcing the winner of the Colleen Rothschild. And you just need to look below because I'm going to figure it out after we get gone and before I post this video. So have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.